Hi guys, it's Stacey here from TycoonFactory.com and this is the second video in your free video course of how to make money online with no technical skills, no market knowledge and no upfront capital. So as you can see, I am on a site called Upwork here and the strategy that I'm going to teach you today is how to buy and resell services for a profit. So first things first, you'll need to sign up for an account in Upwork. Um, I will include the link for that in the description. And once you've logged into your account, I want you to click the Find Work button, which will bring you to this page here. Now, for this example, I'm going to um, use Logo Design, just because Logo Design is a very simple one to do. So if I just type in Search for Jobs and I type in Logo Design, what that's going to do is that's going to bring up all the jobs that people have posted. So when somebody requires a logo design, they might post a job on Upwork and that's what we're searching for at the moment. So as you can see, we'll just search through some of the listings that have come up and you'll see that some of them aren't relevant. For example, this one's looking for graphic design. Um, you've got custom framework, game design for iPad. Now the first one we come up to that's relevant to what we're searching for is a, re a luxury retail logo now if you look here under estimated budget you'll see that their budget for this project is sixty dollars so if you were to put a bid in for this project at sixty dollars chances are you wouldn't get it and the reason for that is because there are a lot of competitors uh, a lot of designers on upwork that are going to be coming in less than that to try and compete with each other and secure the job but let's say, for example, that you went in at $30. Now, I'm not saying you would do that. It's That's a judgment call. You may go in at $60. You may go in at $50. You may want to go in at $20. But let's just say, for argument's sake, that you go in at $30. So we're going to put a $30 bid on this project. So all you do is you click on the project title. And you would click submit a proposal and what that would do is that would allow you to submit a bid for this project and you can add a description to that um, as well as your technical skills so that's just a reminder about the fees it's a pop-up so you can just fill in this proposal with your terms so the bid would be $30 and you can put in how long it would take you to do that and a cover cover letter and um, any alteration. So what that is, is if the customer comes back and says, I'm not happy with that design, can you change it? Now, you can put two alterations in there, three alterations in there, but don't just guess. I'll show you where to get that number from just in a moment. So let's say that you were awarded this job for $30. What we're then going to do is go to another website. Now, this is a website called Fiverr.com. It's uh, www.fiverr.com. And again, I'll include the link in the description to this. And this website is absolutely fantastic. Um, I suggest using it for your own market materials and your own design if you are in business already. Um, but on top of that, there's hundreds of services on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just type logo design into Fiverr. Now you might want to do this bit before you actually start submitting pro proposals on Upwork um, just for the reason that it'll give you an idea of how many alterations these designers will allow. So as you can see, you've got uh, 381. I'm in pounds here because I'm on the UK version, but if you're in dollars, these will be in dollars. Um, so I've got 381, which is $5, 381. So you would just select one of these designers and there's hundreds of them i'd suggest clicking on a few checking out that feedback um looking at some of the designs because quite often they'll have a portfolio on so you can see here they've got a portfolio on where you can look at some of their design work and it gives you an idea of what their logos look like so you may well use one of those So let's look for one that's $3.81. So this one, for example. Now what you want to do is you want to check out the feedback, and make sure everything's okay, but you want to make sure that you read the description in the listing as well. So as you can see, the basic package has two revisions. So you would know to put two revisions. 
Um, it includes the JPEG and the PNG, which is what most people want. The PNG is just a, a transparent background, so you can use it on market materials, websites, that kind of thing. So as you can see, that's got everything we need for $3.81. And if we have a look at some of his designs, you'll see there's some good ones there. So that's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do is just click favorite on this one because that will get added to our favorites list. I'm not actually going to put that in because I'm not logged in. Um, but if you're logged in, it will add it to your favorites list so that you can view this designer again at any time. So you now know that you're going to get two revisions. It means you can submit a proposal with the alterations on. So you, you do that. Um, it's worth having about two or three backup designers on Fiverr. So go through a few of them, add a couple of them as favorites so that you've got them and then you can submit your proposal and as soon as that person comes back and say yes we accept your proposal you can then go to fiverr and you can purchase this logo design for five dollars bearing in mind you've made thirty dollars after the fees you've made twenty four dollars and you're paying out five dollars so you can see how that's great profit for literally submitting a proposal on here and ordering a logo on here and literally once you've been awarded the job the customer is going to send you the information that they want on the logo and you just copy and paste that and send it to the designer on here so you can see how powerful that would be and that's just on a really small project like a logo as you move on and you get better at it and you learn a little bit more of the jargon and things like that you'll be able to progress into uh, editing you can progress into video editing, proofreading, uh, web design. I mean, I've seen people make $300, $400 in one transaction on a website. So there's not just these two sites that you can do this with. I'm going to give you a couple more links to different sites that you can actually utilize this method on. Um, this is an English site that I'm going to show you next, um, which is peopleperhour.com. However, there is a lot of um, designers, developers from other countries that use this one. And um, again, it's very similar. You can click sell and you can either browse the jobs that's already there or you can click post an hourly. Now, when hourly is like a little ad that goes onto the website, I'll show you what they look like. Um, and it's like a little job that goes onto the website and you would just fill in all your details here. So you'd post, I can design you a logo. Um, I'll deliver it in however many days. and People can just buy those directly. So you might charge $15 or £15 for a logo. And then again, you would just go back to Fiverr and buy it again. Uh, the great thing about People Per Hour is, is because it's an English site, um, everything tends to be a little bit more expensive. So website design, for example, if you do sort of get to the point where you're, you are outsourcing uh, websites and reselling those kinds of services, you'll make a lot of money doing it between sort of Upwork and people per hour because you can actually hire developers and designers on Upwork as well as buy them so you can see how all of the sites interlink and you can sort of buy on Fiverr to sell on Upwork or buy on Upwork to sell on people per hour um, so it's really simple and it's just a case of having to play around with it and again another site that you can use is uh, freelancer.com I'll include all the links to these in the description so that you can have a play around with them but the best thing I can say is just sit and post some hourlies on people per hour sit and post some jobs and then if people buy them you've already got your designers there um have a, a browse around upwork and freelancer now the only things i can say about upwork and freelancer is that you usually have to gain a little bit of um a little bit of feedback before you'll actually start to get jobs uh so you might want to just start out with really small easy jobs like I've got a document to proofread or I've got a logo to design and gain some feedback before you start and get higher price jobs in. Uh, but again, with people per hour and the hour laser, that's not so much of an issue. Uh, there's less developers and less competition on people per hour. So that's definitely one that's worth trying out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this method, guys. Uh, let me know how you get on with it. I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, don't forget to like me on Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh twitter and i shall see you in the next video